Bantamweight's inside the ring. Michaela Rosati, Ursi Wallace. Larry Downs Jr. getting this assignment. TJ DeSantis, Dean Thomas, Pensacola Bay Center tonight for Dean Tool Promotions. Masvidal versus Pettis. All amateur bouts tonight sanctioned by the American Mixed Martial Art, American Amateur Mixed Martial Arts Organization. We're learning a little bit about their judging. Yeah, you know, so. yeah. I didn't know that myself. That there was no... And if Dean Thomas didn't know, how am I supposed to know? Rosati throwing some punishment the way of Walls, but Walls coming back with some hands over the top of the right. Starting out pretty fast here. I mean, that's one thing that you kind of kind of expect from women's mixed martial arts. Is they start off fast. They do. They start off very aggressively. It's almost like every fight. Just kick the lead leg there. Now going to the body is Rosati. Join in on the conversation tonight at TJ Casanas at Dean Thomas hashtag Dean Tool Promotions. Appreciate you joining us tonight on Are You Live. Nice counter shots there by Wallace. His right hand. Yeah, Wallace starting to turn it up with those right hands. Rosati trying to answer. Rosati definitely employing a lot of kicks in her attack where Wallace is landing some hands. She's, so she's, she's, Wallace is hitting her target. That was a, mis a mistake. Wow, I don't cool. know. Maybe it wasn't My a mistake. Goodness. <laughs> now in full mount, Ursi Wallace trying to pound out a finish here. Michaela Rosati in trouble. A lot of time here. Ursi Wallace has 30 seconds left to really make a statement now, isolating that arm gift wrap situation here for Again, Wallace now. For the arm bar. She might be able to get this. Arm bar upcoming. Rosati trying to battle her way through it. She's trying to almost kick her in the face. That's not legal. But she doesn't have the arm turned right. She's got 10 seconds. This could be either really good or really bad with 10 seconds left. But, but her thumb, I think, is in the wrong direction. That's a statement, though. Finishing the round in a submission, Ursi Wallace. The problem was she didn't have her thumb pointed in the right direction. Right. So there was a, a lot of give and a lot of bend. So sometimes it looks a lot worse than it really is. Um, there was still some pressure on it, but her thumb wasn't actually turned in the right direction. So she wasn't able to, because like if, with the angle that she had on it, that could have been devastating. Let's talk about how Ursi Walls got into that position. Hopefully we'll see it on the replay here. Some hands early, but yeah. it was a, a failed takedown attempt to a, a beautiful sweep. Yeah, I thought it was a mistake to go for, like she kind of pulled her on top of her, but kind of just swept. Like you, that was some good jujitsu actually. Absolutely. But, uh, but she's she's raining down punches from the mount here and just and just went for the armbar for now. I thought it was a good idea to go for the armbar, especially with the amount of time left. Solid bit of work there in the latter part of the round for Ursi Wallace. Got to believe that momentum is on her side as we head into round number two. You know, so Wallace, as I was saying in the last round, she's getting the touches that she wants with the right hand. She's just not turning it over with her body. If she turns it over with her body, she's going to get a lot more impact out of that right hand. You see how she's kind of pushing it? Countering those kicks with some hands is Wallace. Rosati really married to that leg attack. It's something that she's employed from the get-go. Now throwing it to the body. And that's not a bad thing to do, especially for the fact that she's getting hit with right hands. If she uses her left leg to, to maintain distance, just keep going to the body with that left leg. Yeah, and again, and take away that front leg. She could do a lot of damage and slow the slow Ursi Wallace down. Nice right hand finds a home for Rosati. Touch over a minute remaining here in our second round. Now clinched up. Wallace able to get her to the floor. A lot of time left again to work here. Just under a minute. Half guard here for Rosati. Yeah, Wallace has a significant advantage on the ground. And I think she it would do her some justice to get here as early as she can in each round. 
Takedowns go a long way in these short fights as well. You get a takedown in the first, you know. Oh, yeah, you get a takedown. Like, it's hard to get back up. You right. Get a takedown in, and plus it weighs a lot on the, in the judge's mind. Right hand there by Wallace now. Trying to posture up and rain down some shots. Rosati covering up. Final 10 seconds here in round number two. Two rounds in the books between these Bantamweights, Michaela Rosati, Ursi Wallace. We saw Rosati in that round uh, land some kicks. She had uh, maybe a bit more strikes here early, but we saw Wallace get that takedown. Dean, walk us through some of this action. So she, she kind of an unconventional takedown there. She just kind of threw her down from like a, a, a seemed like almost like a front headlock type position, just threw her down and, and secured half guard. Uh, but she wasn't able to create the space that she needed in order to de deliver some damaging blows from there. And and that's a science in itself, one that's very underdeveloped in MMA. And um, sometimes you almost can't expect it to be learned and taught for these amateurs here because I still work with pros that were trying to develop this. Right. So it's understandable that she wasn't able to do a lot of damage, especially with that amount of time there. You gotta wonder what the corner of Michaela Rosati is thinking. You know, she finished the first round, locked in an arm bar, second round. She had some success, but was ultimately taken down. Her back may be against the wall, and she has two minutes to do something about it here in round number three. Yeah, I think she needs to get her left leg going and start going to the body with that left leg to, hey, to keep the right up, hand from Ursi Wallace from making a, a connection. Again, there goes that right hand from Ursi Wallace. And it's all because Michaela is not doing anything to stop that from her from coming in. She's got to keep her from stepping to her. Rosati trying to go back to that kick. To the mouth open of Wallace, taking a deep breath. A lot of offensive output here throughout this fight. Half-hearted kick there, but answered by some punches from Rosati. Wallace kind of shaking her head. I don't know if it was out of frustration or trying to tell Rosati that, no, you're not hurting me. It looked a little bit more out of frustration, like no. she didn't get what she wanted, like she was trying to reach for it and didn't get what she wanted. But I'd love to see Rosati throw a, a kick, a liver kick right now. You know, I mean, it's right open for her. Rosati's head snapped back there by a right hand from Ursi Wallace. Less than a minute remains here in the fight. With a right hand, loading up on the right hands. Rosati in some trouble, now up against the ropes. Yeah. Yeah, if Ursi Wallace would just turn one of them right hands over with, this fight would be over because she's making a connection almost every time she throws it. A little over 30 seconds remain here in round number three. See if Rosati has something up her sleeve to get back in this fight. Wallace looks to be in cruise control here. Yeah, she's in cruise control. I don't know if she's tired. Like her, her facial expressions doesn't show that she's tired, but her body language is the way she's walking backwards shows that she's tired. And this is something that they're going to have to learn how to read. You know, as, if you see your opponent that body language, you got to read that and jump on them. And Rosati has not done that. Solid performance here by Ursi Wallace, Michaela Rosati. After three rounds of action. We go to the judges for a decision. All three judges scored the same for your winner by unanimous decision. From the blue corner, Ursi Sledge Wallace.